Hey there everyone, big news on the GTA 6 trailer just dropping, and we're stoked to fill you in. Sorting through the real stuff from the rumors can be tough, but we've got the goods straight from leaked pre-alpha GTA 6 footage that's been verified by Rockstar Games. Can't show you the vid due to copyright worries, but let's get into what we found. GTA 6 is spicing things up with CCTV cameras in certain game spots. Saw Jason getting caught on one, leading to a chase by a security guard. A bit like what went down in GTA 5. Vehicles are getting a location-based makeover too. Fancy Vice City areas will have sports cars, while more remote places will offer older, worn-out rides for that realistic feel. Gameplay's looking interesting. Characters will each have their own inventory, with a possible shared section Rockstar's toying with. But carrying gear? Not as much as in GTA 5. Heavy weapons will eat up more space, meaning one big gun and a couple of small ones or throwables without a bag. Talks brewing about a double bag to expand inventory, but no confirmation yet. By the way, I'm holding a monthly giveaway for a PlayStation 5. You just need to subscribe and you're entered. Now, back to the video. GTA 6 is packing an intimidate feature. Point your gun at an NPC and you might talk them into surrendering. Adds a cool new layer to how you interact in the game. The game's wildlife lineup is set. Get ready to bump into alligators, boars, bucks, cows, deer, dogs, frogs. Yeah, you read that right. Herons, pigeons, possums, raccoons, rats, seagulls, skunks, snakes, and squirrels. Imagine the possibilities of interacting with or even hunting these critters. Let's talk wheels in GTA 6. Thanks to the crew at GTA Base, we've got a full list of vehicles from the leaked material. Familiar rides from GTA 5 are making a comeback, like the Albany Alpha, Galavanta Baller, Vapid Benson, Roboto Bison, and more. Adding to the lineup, we've spotted 18 new rides in GTA 6 inspired by real-world counterparts. Expect classics like the 1990s Buick Skylark, a Cadillac DeVille Delegance, a 1970s Ford Ranchero, might be Jason's ride, and more. Here's a cool new move, shooting backward. Your character pulls off a slick move shooting over their shoulder, adding some serious cinematic vibes to the action. Now, clothing's getting an upgrade. GTA 6 brings in sweat stains after a run, blood stains, and dirt on your gear, making the whole game world feel more real. Inventory juggling in GTA 6 isn't just about guns and gadgets. Packing food or drinks means less space for other stuff. Whether these snacks will patch you up like in GTA 5 isn't confirmed, but you'll definitely need first aid kits and meds for healing. They'll be right at hand on a separate quick bar. GTA 6 sticks to Vice City, and while folks are guessing about more cities later on, nothing official's been dropped. You'll control two main characters, Jason and Lucia. Switching between them is lightning fast when they're close, way quicker than in GTA 5. Check out the Kington Hotel on the map. It's big news from the leaked footage, with Lucia heading there. And watch out for a possible cop trap event. Cops might set traps in different spots to catch players off guard. Seems like GTA 6 is going all in on keeping us on our toes. GTA 6 has got a cool new feature, lockpicking. Characters carry lockpicks, setting the stage for a mini heist at the docks. Jason's sneaking into a container holding a vehicle, hinting at some wild driving ahead. Here's some gameplay spice, carrying bodies. Saw a clip of someone lugging another person over their shoulders, but it's a blur if it's an NPC or a player. Footage was from GTA 6 Online, and there's buzz about going prone or crouching. We can shoot while crouched, but the jury's still out on shooting while lying down. GTA 6 is packing 16 new tools to help you out, from a handy auto-dialer to binoculars, cut-off tools, flashlights, even fruit for your virtual hunger, and more. Need to crack a safe or pull off a covert op? These tools got your back. GTA Online's getting a bump to accommodate 32 players in lobbies now. Opinions might vary, but it all hinges on Rockstar's design for a killer multiplayer vibe. And guess what's back in GTA 6? Nightclubs. Dive into Vice City's party scene for some nightlife fun. Check out the Jack of Hearts Club in GTA 6. It's bigger and better than the clubs in GTA 5, with multiple levels, bars, private sections, a potential hotspot fans are buzzing about. GTA 6's world is packed with over 1,300 random events. From small chats with NPCs to store robberies, there's always something happening. Oh, and if you try to shake off cops, by hopping into a ride. A warning pops up. They'll remember which vehicle you jumped into, so ditching them won't be that easy. No six star in GTA 6's wanted level. Five stars is still the max, so get ready for those heart-pounding chases and intense heat in Vice City's streets. Picture cruising the Everglades in a top-notch hovercraft, just one of the slick rides you'll have right from the start in the game. Take, for instance, Jason's eye-catching 1970 Ford Ranchero GT sporting bold red and black colors. The action kicks off with small-time heists and local business robberies immediately getting your blood pumping. Game interactivity's gotten a serious upgrade. When you rob a store, no more instant cash boosts in your account. You'll physically grab money from the store's counter, making things way more immersive. There's a heap of vehicles to pick from in the game, 
game, letting players customize their rides for a memorable spin around Vice City. Stunt jumps are making a comeback in GTA 6, and get this, players can drop weapons, leading to wild and chaotic scenes. Picture yourself in a speeding pickup truck, taking out your pursuers from the back. The view's different from GTA 5 too, with a closer, over-the-shoulder angle for a more immersive feel. Now, onto the hot rumors. These deets aren't confirmed, but they sure seem likely from the leaks. Surfing, fishing, and pumping iron might just be activities you can dive into in the game. The idea of catching waves or hitting the virtual gym is pretty thrilling. Also, GTA 6 might only hit PS5, Xbox Series X, and S, with no certainty about a PC release yet. Looks like PS4 and Xbox One users might miss out, but fingers crossed for a PC drop eventually. New game features in GTA 6 are worth a look. Now, you can handle assault rifles while riding in a vehicle. A total game changer. As you cruise through town, notice the switch to sleek, modern rides, fitting the city vibe. But head out to the Everglades, and you'll find old, worn-out cars, giving you that classic GTA feel. Whether you're after City Flash or rural nostalgia, GTA 6 has got the wheels for you. There's more to discover in GTA 6. They've seriously upped the interaction game. You can mess with money, USB drives, weapons, food, gear, lots to tinker with. Check this out, GTA 6 is bringing in a social media platform called What Up to amp up the game experience. And rumors hint at a hovercraft in single-player mode, similar to the old Vortex from earlier GTAs, but its official name's still a mystery. Stay tuned for more updates. Weapons in GTA 6 got a real upgrade from GTA 5, especially in how they work and move. A big step up. Let's talk about Jason's special knack. Seems he's got a sixth sense thing going on. Seen in leaks when he spots hidden stuff in a shop, adds a cool twist to the gameplay. GTA 6's added building interiors a neat touch. You'll have way more indoor spots to hit up compared to GTA 5. Perfect for heists and spicing up gameplay. And speaking of heists, robbing stores in GTA 6 is more complex. Watch Jason and Lucia take down Hank's waffles in a leaked clip. The tension's real as a timer counts down to cops arriving. Weapons in GTA 6 are something else. You've got a whopping 24 to choose from. Perfect for those heart-racing moments. From assault rifles to bats, sniper rifles to grenades, and even golf clubs and a good old fist fight, you're set for any situation. Movement in GTA 6 has got a realistic tweak. Going from a sprint to a walk doesn't happen in a snap. There's a noticeable delay now. And changing directions, it's more natural. No sudden shifts like in GTA 5. Spotted Port Gellhorn on a police car in GTA 6, confirming its spot in the game. It's likely a smaller city, kind of like Sandy Shores or Polito Bay from GTA 5. More places to explore. GTA 6 is upped the interactive game big time. When you rob a store, the cashier throws the cash bag your way, but you gotta grab it yourself. Also, you can switch your aiming shoulder now, a feature from Red Dead Redemption 2, now part of GTA 6. GTA 6's NPC interactions are getting a boost. NPCs will say different things as you pass by, making the game world more alive. The detail in GTA 6 is seriously top-notch. In GTA 6, when you're pulling off heists or robberies, you've got the option to tie up hostages using cable ties. Adds a strategic twist and makes these intense moments more immersive. Also, watch out for vehicle damage. It's a bigger deal in this game. Just one crash and your engine could start smoking bringing in more realism and consequences to your actions. Rockstar's worked on noise cancellation as you move from indoors to outdoors in GTA 6. Unlike GTA 5, where guns kinda sounded similar, here they've nailed the gun sounds for a more real deal experience. They're really fine-tuning the details to make the game pop. Life Invaders making a comeback in GTA 6, and get this, it's in the same universe as GTA 5. There's talk about Jay Norris's end, a storyline from GTA 5 between two characters in GTA 6. Here's a cute touch. Gumball machines actually give you gumballs in GTA 6. Seems small, but adds a nice little realistic vibe to the game. Get ready to ride the Vice City Metro, aka Vice City Metro, in GTA 6. It's a full-on transport system you can use to get around. Just like riding in the back of a pickup, you can lean out the windows and shoot in all directions while someone else drives. Makes for some seriously thrilling action moments. Ever since GTA 6 was announced, the rumor mill's been churning. But let's sift through the confirmed deets about vehicles, gear, weapons, and game stuff. It's still a while while until the game drops, but Rockstar is going all out to make it killer. A recent leak spilled some beans, talking vehicles, new physics, main peeps like Lucia and Jason, map spots, a massive world, tons to do, and a big bag of weapons. Plus, there's buzz about smarter AI for non-players, RPG twists, and cool gameplay moves. All this talk's got gamers hyped for GTA 6's big debut. Now, onto the juicy bits from those leaked clips, diving into fresh features and gameplay. There's this scene where Jason and pals chill by a pool, chatting about a spoof of social media called Life in Invader. They crack jokes referencing 
Jay Norris's bit in a classic GTA funny style fans love. In these clips, you're seeing players interact with NPCs in a huge world. They're taking selfies and stuff, adding a real vibe to the game. And there's this moment where Jason dives into a gang's turf, hides behind a truck, and reacts to gunshots. It's all about those unique animations. The big find? A jetpack hinted at by Tom Henderson, spotted in the Jack of Hearts Club. You're also seeing parody logos of social media like Snapchat and Instagram. Characters sport different hairstyles. With Lucia rocking a braid, they've got animations testing Lucia and Jason doing all sorts. Jogging, pausing, ducking gunfire. Developers at Rockstar even checked out how crashes work on a highway overpass. Signs on Interstate 97 mention spots like North Beaches and Lake Leonida, with an exit heading to Washington Beach. In another scene, Jason stumbles onto a container filled with stacks of cash and a bike. Clips show tweaks being made inside a vehicle, hinting at possible new styles or tricks for players. In GTA 6, there's this cool thing where both players and NPCs can hold their guns sideways in fights, shaking things up in confrontations. Also, Jason shows off by spinning his rifle in the air while another character in a parking lot shoots at him with a sideways pistol. Another thing from Red Dead Redemption 2 makes its way into GTA 6. You can pick up and carry bodies, making gameplay more complex. You'll find Red Dead Redemption 2 vibes in other parts of the game too. They've loaded GTA 6 with RPG stuff. You'll manage food, drinks, sweat, tiredness, and even tame animals for a deeper gameplay. Talk about biking ramps and city bike rentals? Looks like cycling's gonna be a blast. The leaked clips spill the beans on loads of weapons. Guns like pistols, shotguns, rifles, plus unexpected ones like golf clubs, baseball bats, and crowbars. And don't forget the tools, flashlights, binoculars, lockpicks, and more to play with. There's a sneak peek at early police AI testing in the leaked clips. NPCs use cover better in shootouts. And that scene where Jason holds up a diner worker with a rifle? Feels kinda like the dialogue choices in Red Dead Redemption 2, but it's not set in stone yet. Jason can now go prone, adding a new twist to the series. Looks like there might be a chance to do some robbing in an antique shop, maybe to sell off stolen stuff, making the game deeper. You can crash at motels or hotels, and Kington Hotel's one of the spots. They even show a pool party with live music for players to check out. The clips tease animations like an overdose, hinting at special actions or events, and horses and maybe horse riding? Might be taking a cue from Red Dead Redemption 2. GTA 6's world is packed with spots to check out motels, metro stations, restaurants, pawn shops, and supermarkets. Even tiny things like grabbing a gumball from a machine add to the vibe. A cool twist. You can now shoot while swimming, spicing up the action in Grand Theft Auto 6. With all these different and interesting bits, it's shaping up to be a fun ride. They're hinting at diverse environments. Everglades with alligators, snakes, raccoons, and birds roaming around. Plenty to explore there. The weapon wheels kinda like Red Dead Redemption 2. You're limited on what weapons and items you carry. Lucia's got a loot bag, probably handy for heists, and Jason Jason's got his inventory sorted for managing weapons and stuff. Now, let's talk rides in GTA 6. Big shout out to the GTA forums for gathering all this. Check the links below to join in on the chats. Loads of wheels are confirmed. You've got classics like Ballista Compact, Ocelot Locust, and something resembling an early 90s Buick Skylark. Plus, some new ones without proper names, like a 90s Chevy Caprice, 2016, plus Chevy Malibu, Chevy Sonic, and a 2018 to 2022 Honda Accord. You know Rockstar's gonna give them those funky names they're known for. And the list keeps Keeps going. Albany Primo, Benefactor Shafter, Old WB, a mix of Ford Explorer and Tahoe from the 90s or 2000s, a 2018 plus Toyota RAV4 with some Lexus NX style, Pegasi Tauros, 1980s, Jeep CJ8 Scrambler, 5th Gen F150, G20 Conversion Van, Brute Camper, Vapid Speedo, HV Mixer, Metro Mover, D Class Sheriff SUV, Mobatsu Sanchez Livery, Nagasaki Street Blazer, 1970s, Ford Ranchero, 1971 Buick Estate, Albany Emperor, D Class Turbo. Saber, Yoga Classic, The Contender, and Sadler. There's gonna be a whole bunch more rides in GTA 6, like Slam Van Pickup, Bobcat XL, Regina's new version, Alpha, Gauntlet Classic, Moonbeam Helion, Boxville Go Postal, some unconfirmed Albany based on a 1959-60 Cadillac, a Rebel, an unknown Asian sedan, a Ferrati or Ferrochi, Baller, Novak, Buffalo STX, Alpha and Fudo, a Benson, NF-890, Buffalo without a sports bumper, and the Stanier and Landstalker. The vast array of vehicles in GTA 6 promises an engaging and varied driving experience in the game. Let's dive into the buzzworthy video clips, making the rounds on social media platforms, offering sneak peeks into mission gameplay and Rockstar Games' direction for GTA 6. One of these clips zooms in on a mission featuring Lucia, the game's playable character, a Latina protagonist attempting a heist at Hank's Waffles, a diner. In these early stages, the non-player characters lack detailed facial features, presenting a somewhat comical appearance amusingly labeled as dummy-like within the game. The NPCs respond dynamically 
to Lucia's aggressive actions, showing various animations that illustrate the fear sparked by the robbery, reminiscent of the responsive NPC behavior seen in Red Dead Redemption 2. During the diner heist scenario, Lucia faces the choice of aiming her handgun at a hostage, offering players the option to either rob or engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. This adds depth to criminal activities in the game. Jason, the white male protagonist, is part of the robbery too, allowing interaction with both characters during the event. Jason urges Lucia to act swiftly and escape cleanly, hinting at a relationship akin to the legendary duo Bonnie and Clyde, echoing prior leaks about the game's storyline. Their appearances bear a resemblance to actors Eva Mendes and Ryan Gosling from The Place Beyond the Pines, though it's uncertain if the game's plot mirrors the movie's storyline. Lucia and Jason appear to be in their late 20s, and the game seamlessly integrates a character-switching feature accessed through the controller's D-pad. As the police show up, Lucia intimidates another hostage, leading to a showdown with law enforcement outside. The detailed design of the outdoor area suggests a setting inspired by northern Florida, filled with lush greenery. In Lucia and Jason's escape, they amass two wanted stars, but cleverly avoid a shootout, maneuvering around parked cars before seizing a police cruiser. This initial mission phase provides tutorial-like prompts, highlighting advancements in police AI, as law enforcement retains memory of vehicles involved in unlawful activities. The sequence ends with Lucia behind the wheel of the police car, Jason assuring her of their ability to shake off the cops. Unexpectedly, their getaway halts due to an unintended collision at an outdated car wash. Transitioning to the next mission, Jason and Lucia head to the Jack of Heart, encountering Dre engrossed in conversation with another woman. Dre shares his music industry aspirations, hinting at the introduction of someone named Boopy. During this exchange, messages pop up from two new contacts, Billy and R.B. Shaw. Using a parody version of WhatsApp, early footage reveals a mini-map, akin to Grand Theft Auto V, possibly indicating missions from unfamiliar characters identified as WM and YJ. Moving to the VIP second floor, Dre interacts with DJ Tip, expressing dissatisfaction with drink delays. A brief altercation hints at Tip's unpopular status. Dre moves on, concluding the clip. It's important to note that these clips exhibit early development stages and are subject to changes as the game evolves. Another interesting leak unveils details about over 500 in-game events, encounters, and Easter eggs. While we can't cover them all, here are a few highlights. As per discussions on the GTA forums, GTA 6's open world is anticipated to be at least two and a half times larger than GTA 5, promising a vast and immersive environment for exploration. The game follows a successful approach similar to Red Dead Redemption 2, offering a meticulously crafted open world filled with captivating mysteries that enhance the gaming experience. GTA 6's development footage showcases familiar real-life Florida locales like the Homestead Miami Speedway, transformed into the Port Gellhorn Racetrack, alongside landmarks such as Portofino Tower, Sombrero Key Light, Solar Amphitheater Bayfront Park, and Lone Depot Park. Moreover, the incorporation of the 1000 Museum, a towering residential building in Miami, showcases Rockstar's keen eye for detail. A metro map reflecting Miami's actual layout heightens the game's realism. While the presence of lush grasslands hints at a potential expansion into Georgia, this notion remains speculative until officially confirmed. A myriad of activities like fishing, houses affiliated with the occult, makeshift wrestling rings in backyards, and opulent estates housing exotic animals provide diverse experiences within the game's vast universe. Rumors abound about missing tourists, clothing options, revealed at yard sales, an event reminiscent of insurance scams seen in Saints Row, a mysterious voice emanating from a storm drain, perhaps an homage to Pennywise, a multi-location mystery akin to Bonnie and Clyde, and a fitness challenge signaling a return to workout activities. Additionally, Grand Theft Auto 6 might surprise players with an island camp, DUI checkpoints, UFO encounters, an animal sanctuary, an expedition into a swamp, and the chance to play crazy golf. Let's now explore the main locales featured in GTA 6. Ambrosia encompasses Ambrosia Farms and the Tarmac. Bayside Copperhead, the Everglades or Grass Rivers, Fairyland and Fairyland Forest offer distinct settings. The Keys region includes East Key, Low Key, and additional spots like a garage, gas station, and liquor store. Lake Okeechobee boasts a motel, prison, and racetrack, while Little Haiti, North Beach, and North Miami House, various establishments such as gas stations, hideouts, and liquor stores. Port Gellhorn stands out with intricate locations like an abandoned building, basketball court, beach, bingo hall, bowling alley, car wash, fishing store, fruit stand, gas station, motel, pawn shop, police station, quick shop, raceway, soccer field, and more. Red Hill features a dense forest, while South Beach presents a boardwalk, gym, hotel, ocean drive, and park. South Miami Sundown encompasses a beach and tarmac, 
and Vice Beach covers Vice City suburbs and Washington Beach. Assorted locations such as an abandoned hotel, observatory, fountain of youth, homeless community, Malibu Club, Monument of Leonida, Redneck Yacht Club, Spaceship House, underwater research facility, and Dinosaur World enrich the gaming world's depth. The striking resemblance between the Miami Beach Police Department and the Vice City Neighborhoods Police Station showcases Rockstar's inventive approach to designing game worlds. While these details offer an exciting glimpse, we eagerly await official confirmations to understand how they'll fit into the final game. Until then, the anticipation surrounding Grand Theft Auto 6 will undoubtedly keep fans eagerly waiting for its release. Recent leaks strongly suggest that Alexandra Christina Ekavari might lend her voice to Lucia in Grand Theft Auto 6. Her voice in a demo reel closely matches leaked clips featuring Lucia's dialogues, hinting at her possible role in portraying the character. Throughout this overview, we've covered numerous aspects of Grand Theft Auto 6, exploring various elements of the game. It was important to encompass all known details so far. Even though the game might still be a couple of years away from release, much to the excitement of fans, what features of this game are you looking forward to the most? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. GTA 6 brings a significant upgrade to how NPCs behave. Characters will vary in size and shape, reacting realistically to situations. Pulling out a weapon might trigger panic among nearby individuals. The game also introduces an intricate injury system, covering details like concussions. Let's dive into the impressive visuals and new additions. Characters in GTA 6 will naturally grow facial hair over time. The game features a social platform called What's Up, a playful take on WhatsApp. Moreover, familiar spoof versions of social media platforms like Life Invader, Facebook, Bleeter, Twitter, and Snapmatic, Instagram, make a comeback. Now, about our protagonists, Jason and Lucia, each with their own inventories. Your stash can store various items like wine, soda, and fruit. Also, there's a duffel bag system for easy transportation of supplies and weapons. Robberies are a big deal in GTA 6, ranging from major heists to smaller jobs. Easy scores include targets such as bingo body shops, burnout skirts at Cafe Caraway, clothing stores, food trucks, massage parlors, and more. Plus, the addition of robbing shipping containers adds an extra thrill. Gameplay steps up. For the first time in GTA, players can crouch and lie prone, adding tactical elements. RPG features are also prominent, teasing hunger mechanics and interactions with animals, expanding the game's depth. Excitingly, GTA 6 brings back iconic spots like the Malibu Club and Ocean View Hotel, sparking nostalgia among players. Hints about events like Lost at Sea Island Camp and Lost Plane suggest potential potential island adventures reminiscent of Guarma from a previous game. Weaponry in GTA 6 takes a page from Red Dead Redemption 2, adopting a slot-based system. Instead of a large weapon wheel, you'll have designated slots for small firearms, melee weapons, rifles, and shotguns. There won't be infinite weapons, but players can drop and pick up weapons as they progress. During the game's creation, Arthur Morgan's hat made an appearance, but its inclusion in the final game remains uncertain. Players now have the option to surrender to the police during a robbery, adding an intense twist to gameplay. Police response times feel more realistic, displaying a timer that varies based on the severity of the crime. For instance, a murder triggers a quicker response than a robbery. Moreover, the maximum wanted level caps at 5 stars in GTA 6, with a 6-star level seeming highly unlikely in the current game development. Police AI has significantly improved from the previous game. Law enforcement behaves more realistically, no longer recklessly charging in. If you commit a crime and try to escape in a vehicle, cops will take note of the specific vehicle and license plate, making evasion more challenging. In GTA 6, expect various events like chance encounters with muggers and NPC-hosted yard sales. There are hints of riding events, potentially involving horse riding and possibly drawing from the expertise of the Red Dead Redemption 2 team. New firepower enters the fray the spear gun debuts, allowing players to shoot underwater spears at their targets. Additionally, a range of gear awaits, including binoculars, cutting tools, flashlights, immobilizer bypasses, slim jims, USB drives, tasers, zip ties, and auto dialers. GTA GTA 6 brings in RPG elements like managing weight and muscle, showcased in the Spool Couple Workout Challenge. Leaked footage reveals Jason and Lucia's apartments. For instance, Jason's place includes a bathtub for in-game bathing. Get ready for a modern setting after the events of GTA 5. The game meticulously recreates various Miami landmarks, including a grand tennis court, a bustling football stadium, and a lively amphitheater. The map covers an airport and a working tram system stopping at the airport. But there's more. The Florida Keys and a swampy area called the Grass River resembling the Everglades, are part of the game. Players can navigate swamp boats in this region. Weaponry in GTA 6 offers immense variety. Players can choose from melee options like golf clubs, pool cues, crowbars, and bats, and an array of firearms ranging from pistols to snipers and RPGs. There's even customization in how your character holds these weapons. Additionally, there's a selection of throwable items, including grenades, molotovs, and even golf balls. Rockstar is taking a more 
careful approach in storytelling, steering clear of offensive humor, and being considerate toward groups that might feel targeted. The story is structured in chapters, following a similar approach to Red Dead Redemption 2. Gameplay improvements in GTA 6 introduce the ability to stealthily zip-tie NPCs and carry bodies, adding depth to stealth mechanics. During exploration, players will encounter diverse wildlife from alligators, bears, and boars, to dogs, snakes, raccoons, birds, frogs, bald cats, and rodents. Symbols denoting plants and toxic waste are also scattered across the game. Look out for the Scarface crime scene, possibly a fun nod to Tony Montana. There's also a mystery called Missing Tourists. And check this out, camping spots are scattered around, maybe hinting at future camper van ownership in the game. NPC interactions are getting a serious upgrade. In GTA 6, you've got choices, from threatening and robbing to shooting or restraining them. Some missions even use gestures, like Red Dead Redemption 2. They've reworked vehicle damage for a more realistic feel, and the interiors are incredibly detailed, down to the fully functional dashboards. Let's talk about the focus on indoor settings in GTA 6. There's a bunch of different places inside to explore. Nightclubs, motels, hotels, restaurants, pawn shops, supermarkets, fast food spots, gun stores, shooting ranges, and the Vice City Metro Station. They've even added working elevators for that immersive touch. Surprisingly, there's a risk of getting banned from stores, adding a cool element to the gameplay. Now onto the characters. GTA 6 brings us a pair of protagonists, Jason, played by Brian Zampella, and Lucia, played by Alexandra C. Ekevary. Lucia's a big deal, the first playable female character in the series, and you can switch between them seamlessly. And get this, they're depicted as a couple, kind of like Bonnie and Clyde. The gunplay in GTA 6 feels like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Max Payne 3. If you haven't tried those, it might be worth a shot before GTA 6 drops. And there's a ton of activity from fishing and serious golfing to basketball, football, and soccer. Gyms are there for training, a yacht club, and even a racetrack. GTA 6 is loaded with side activities, backyard wrestling, races, UFO events, and beach bonfires. Even small stuff counts, like picking up cans from the ground. Jason and Lucia have special abilities, just like in GTA 5. Get ready for the jetpacks comeback. Shooting from cars is back too, adding more thrills. And brace yourself for 18 brand new vehicles entering the GTA 6 scene. Rockstar plans to keep the action going with new missions and cities after GTA 6's release. We're still in the dark if this is for online or story mode, but they promise a cover system better than what we've seen before in other Rockstar games. GTA 6's map is bigger than GTA 5. This time, it's Vice City, inspired by Miami and its surroundings. It's huge and diverse, and in one video, there's a peak at a lake, hinting at a substantial chunk of Florida in the game. The bustling Kingston Hotel is a spot you don't want to miss. There are pool parties and live music. It adds a whole lot of live liveliness to GTA 6. The clothing system in the game is super realistic. You can deck yourself out with sunglasses, watches, wristbands, and hats in different styles. The attention to detail is impressive. Even features like sweat, dirt, and wrinkles make the game feel real. GTA 6 was known as Project Americas during development, just like GTA 5, Rush, and Red Dead Redemption 2, Bonnier. Initially, they planned a huge map covering North and South America, but they scaled it down. Still, it's shaping up to be an incredible experience with its features and places. In GTA 6, you can mess with functional CCTV cameras, be wary of police traps, spots where cops lie in wait to catch you, and there are intense run-ins with corrupt cop shakedown events. Jason and Lucia's home base is a motel, sort of the central spot for all their activities. GTA 6's streets are filled with different gangs, each with its own vibe. Characters come in all sorts, from romantic and wild to cool and practical. To make things feel real, the game includes DUI sobriety tests, though it's unclear if they're for players or just random characters. Rockstar pays attention to even the small things, like having working gumball machines in the game. Remember, these details are based on early footage and might change before the game's final release, but they sure give us a taste of what Rockstar Rockstar's planning for GTA 6.